Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Model Railways Unlimited Workbench. And today we've got one of my favourite models in for a service. Now not only is it in for a service, but I thought it's about time we fitted some passengers. So I have some here, and drivers, um, and we're going to see if we can fit them in. They're going to need painting first. But let's go ahead first and get the um, rail car running nice and smooth again. It's a little bit grindy. I've never been inside this before and according to the instructions and what I've read online it should be openable by just flexing the sides here so we go ahead with the old um, I can see the clips credit cards old credit cards ideal for this sort of job and I suppose it just lifts out does it take hold of the horn area. So after having released the clips inside using the credit card bits, the body does indeed come off and there's no wires or anything attached to it, it's a separate shell. So that's quite handy. Which means the access to the inside is going to be reasonably good. We've got a PCB here with the little switches just up at this end, I don't know if you can see them there. Uh, that's to change the direction of the lighting uh, and options and we need to get inside there just to have a look at fitting the passengers later but we need to release the screw there and there so that we can take this off and get to the mechanism underneath promised. Yeah, there's some sort of tape or something we got some little wires, but here we go. Turn him round. And here is the mechanism. I think we'll better do a close-up. Right. Well, it only drives on the one bogey here. Um, and so there, there's the uh, gear tower and the drive from the motor. And here's our motor. Very fine wires. Let's go back and have a look at the back. So we're now looking at the motor and the decoder. Now this is where the decoder would go. That's the blanking plug. And you've got all the wires there. Little wire up against the shaft of the motor. So it's kind of looks fairly simple for maintenance. We're going to drop of oil there, drop of oil there, make sure the cardian shaft is um, lubricated, and then we'll try and get at the gears. Alright, we've got the um, gear tower cover off. Needed to use my little tool, and you go down between the forks where it rests to prise it up off and now you see we've got a single worm and the two bearings which we can lubricate but they don't look too bad anyway so we might have to open the bogey to get to the actual bogey chain uh, gear chain and the bottom plate just unclips fairly standard stuff and inside we have the gear chain and it's a little bit dry particularly in the middle and on the bearings but it does at least have wheel bearings in the plastic chassis so a good bit of label 106 in there smeared all around and she should be right as rain so what can be said about the rear bogey which is the pickup bogey um, we obviously need to clean the backs of the wheels check the tension of the pickups which looks absolutely fine and have a little drop of oil just on the pinpoints to help them keep smooth and uh, free running which are not too free running at the moment so we'll just do that quickly. So that's the uh, lubrication done. And it's all running nice and smooth. Now with the um, unit reassembled, I've replaced the two screws at each end. It's time to have a look at fitting the passengers and driver. So I'm going to check and see which side the driver would have sat on. Probably the right hand side, knowing a Great Western. But a little bit of research will pay dividends. And then we'll have a look at fitting in the people. Now after much digging, a really good picture of the um, rail cars being delivered has appeared and the driver sits on the left but almost centre 
there's a second man there as well. So we need to fit ours um, centre left. So we have our first driver in place. Now the controls seem to be on either side and funny enough the two drivers that I've got have left and right arm extended um, alternately so it can be right one way or the other. Now to look at the passengers. Firstly I carefully selected those figures that would fit or would fit with a minimum amount of trimming. These are white metal models so can be bent for a good fit. After painting it was time to distribute them around the seats making sure that they are well in from the sides to avoid issues with the body shell later. Here are some views before closing up. After closing it was time for a test on the railway.